Hey, everybody, welcome back to Wild Women of Song. We're having a fascinating conversation with jazz guitarist Mimi Fox. So you um, have a new recording out, and tell us what goes into the process of thinking about doing a new record, but also about this one in particular. You know, this album was is very special to me because, um, you know, it's solo guitar, which I love. It's, it's a great challenge playing solo jazz guitar because you're really handling, you know, all of the duties. You, you've got to play the melody, you've got to walk bass lines, you've got to put in harmony and chords. And at the same time, you want to improvise and tell a compelling story through the body of the piece. So, uh, you know, for me, I picked songs, not just jazz songs, even, um, you know, for this recording uh, that just touched me throughout the course of my life. I've been through a lot the past few years, both personally uh, and professionally, and I felt like I wanted to do something that was just a little bit of all the parts of me. So it's got a, a Paul McCartney tune. It's got a Michael ja- a piece that Michael Jackson recorded. Uh, it even has uh, Bob Dylan's Blown in the Wind. Uh, I reharmonized all these songs and sort of tried to put my own stamp on them. I went all over the map, and hopefully people will appreciate that great music really knows no boundaries. I mean, for me, as a jazz artist, I can take any song, and if I throw myself into it and really commit myself to it, I can come up with something cool. If it's a good melody, take it to the bank. You know, that's my feeling. Good melody. Yeah, that is one of the best things about jazz, I think, is that it does absolutely open itself up to all genres, and it should. Yeah. Something should. And I think that's the... um, that's why it's always hard to identify what jazz radio is, you know, because right. people are so specific about these um, the categories, these categories, and yet the musicians know that they're it's wide open, baby. Right. <laughs> I sang one of your songs a few times with you, which was always which is a thrill. Oh, and, a thrill and we for wrote me, a song yeah. together, yes, which was really fun. Which was totally fun. You learn so much about somebody when you write a song with them. You really do, because it's like going on a date. You know, you have to find out what moves them and where were they defensive and where <laughs> what we're hanging on to or what we're willing to let go of and, you know, discover a new way of being together, really, in a creative way. And um, I, every songwriter I know who works with somebody else will agree with me on this one, as, as woo-woo as that may sound to the audience out there. It is quite an exploration um, to do. But I had so much fun. We did a song called Bruised Around the Heart. I loved writing that song with you. Me too. But it came out, it was a very different experience because I basically emailed you the lyrics, came over to your house, and by the time I'd gotten there, you already were working on, yeah, like three quarters of it mapped out in a really interesting way, which has never happened to me before. Well, you know, it's, it's yeah, and it was a little unusual for me because it was kind of like speed dating, to use your <laughs> to use your analogy, because we, uh, I, I, I liked the lyrics right away. I was captivated by them, and I, and I sat down, and this samba-ish groove started playing in my head. I heard the groove, and then the melody just started it just flew out is like it was meant to be and i think uh so it was it just felt natural i hope we get to do more composing together i want to talk with you a little bit about uh, a song called lullaby of the lees if uh, you don't mind no i love that tune that's a great song written by a woman named bernice petcare she also wrote close your eyes what's interesting about her writing is that a couple of her songs really have become like such true jazz standards oh yeah and that song I don't, she didn't write the lyrics to that uh, man being Joe Young wrote the lyrics to that. I actually don't even particularly, the, the lyrics don't move me, but the melody is so powerful. And I'm wondering if you have a take on, you know, what moves you what moved you when you decided to record it but what is it about that song i was always taken by it and i feel i think that i was playing um i don't know somewhere i heard the tune and i thought what a really nice melody and uh and i thought well why don't i try to why don't i try to do something with this with this melody and come up with something um and because i didn't particularly care for the lyrics i thought well this is not one that um i necessarily want to play with any of the vocalists that i work with but maybe i could come up with something myself that would breathe new life into the song. And so I, I worked with it and, and came up with an arrangement that, uh, that I felt was enhancing the, the, the original melody. Mm-hmm. But I stayed true to the melody and then went from there. I love the way you do it. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering if you would 
favor us with a little of it. Am I putting you on the spot? No, I'd love to, I'd love to do it. You want to? Okay. Hi, I'm Mimi Fox, and I want to encourage everyone out there to please check out Wild Women of Song on YouTube. It's been my great pleasure to be a part of this project from inception, and I think everyone will enjoy all the great music and musicians that are being interviewed and featured on this great spot.